The Kentucky Derby is this weekend, which you can watch right here on Local 4, and it's an experience many say that they have on their bucket list. But our sponsor, Louisville Tourism, says that traveling to Churchill Downs is something that you should consider any time of year, and you still can get in on the fun that the city has to offer, even if you can't make it to the Derby. Well, joining us now to share more is Nicole Fitzpatrick with Louisville Tourism. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Happy of course, Derby. of course. Well, let's start talking about Churchill Downs. It's an iconic location, and even if people can't make it to the Derby, they can still visit it year round. And I hear that there's even a museum that guests can tour. Yes, we have a Kentucky Derby Museum just unveiled a new exhibit on the Secretariat to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the first Triple Crown horse. Oh, and wow. the music also offers an exhibit pan tribute to the black jockeys racing. It's a little known fact that the first Kentucky Derby runner was a black jockey and 13 of the first 15 jockeys were black. They are a big part of our horse racing history and we want visitors to learn all about them. Absolutely. That's a piece of history that I'm sure most people don't know about. But what we do know about is mint juleps, that they are the drink that you have to have at the Derby because it showcases something Kentucky is known for, bourbon. So what is the bourbon scene like in the city? Oh, it's pouring everywhere. So bourbon, which is America's only native uh, spirit, was born right here in Kentucky, and we still craft 95% of the world's supply. So the fun fact is that there are two and a half barrels of bourbon for every person living in our state. And we recently hit a major milestone uh, with over 2 million visitors experiencing uh, Kentucky Bourbon Trail, which is one of the best places to start your bourbon trail. Uh, is here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Fraser History Museum, the official starting point. And Louisville's known as the Bourbon City, and we have so many new bourbon experiences opening that's open now, and we have more to come soon. If you can't tell, bourbon is here to stay. Absolutely, and that was gonna be my next question about the distilleries. Are, is there any way that we can visit them or it's our, all part of this trail and this tour? Yes, actually we have almost a dozen distilleries right here in downtown Louisville. Many of them have tasting rooms and gift shops. So if you don't go on a full tour, take advantage of that. Uh, you won't want to miss our brand new experiences, including the Buzzards Roost right here on Main Street, Bardstown Bourbon Company, which is opening soon. And then we also have Castle and Key, as well as number 15, which is brand new uh, and is a hot spot for live music and uh, to pair with your bourbon. All right, so now we've had a little taste of bourbon in Louisville. Now, what's your culinary scene like? Oh, Louisville here is a wonderful culinary scene, and we are a foodie city with over 2,500 independent restaurants. Uh, Travel and Leisure actually just named us as one of the best foodie cities in the U.S., so we are very proud of that. We're known for our regional and southern foods. Uh, visitors will definitely want to try a hot brown. It is an open-faced, cheesy sandwich that is warm and it is made with turkey and tomatoes. It is amazing. It was invented by the Brown Hotel in, here in Louisville. And this historic hotel is turning 100 this year. So we are super excited about that. Wow, that's quite the milestone. Now, finally, you can't think of the Kentucky Derby without thinking of horses. Can you actually tour any ranches around town? Well, actually, we don't call it ranches. We actually call them horse farms. Okay. So, uh, yes, that is something that we always spread here in Bourbon City. There are horse farms that are nearby. The Kentucky Derby Museum actually offers a great tour that takes visitors from the track to a horse farm with lunch and a wonderful bourbon tasting as well. It's a great way to experience both the historic Churchill Downs and the beautiful setting of Hermitage Farm. All right, so that's a win-win there. So you get to visit the horses, learn more about them, and have some bourbon all at one place. Well, Nicole, thank you so much for speaking with us today and telling us all about Louisville. Thank you for having us, and cheers to a wonderful derby. I hope to see more visitors come on down to Louisville. Cheers to you as well.
To start planning your trip to Bourbon City and to see the home of the Kentucky Derby, visit GoToLouisville.com. Again, that's GoToLouisville.com. And remember, Local 4 is your only home to see the Kentucky Derby this weekend. The 149th running of the greatest two minutes in sports is Saturday. Coverage starts at noon.